Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ulysses Burton III, your favorite photographer's favorite photographer. And I know it's been a while since I dropped a vid. Uh, I want to say it's almost been a year. But here I am again, man. New things, new things, man. Um, I jumped into the world of film photography. What? If you can't tell by the aesthetic, the beanie and the glasses, you know what I'm saying? I decided to, you know, jump on the trend, ride the wave a little bit. Nah, but in all seriousness, man, it's something that had been on my mind and on my heart for a long time is to really dive into film photography. And there's so much out there um, that you can get into when it comes down to film photography. Different cameras, um, you know, the different films and stuff like that, which I learned. And I was like, man, I just wanted to get into it. So I actually swung by uh, Chuck's cameras. That's in Newport News. Actually, is it Newport News or Hampton? Uh, I think it's considered Hampton, Hampton, Virginia. Yeah, so I swung down there because um, I knew a man, Chuck. My Chuck, man, Ch Chuck has a, a like a museum full of cameras, man. It's a beautiful place just to walk in, and it just feels good to be up in there. But I had swung by Chuck's camera because I had my eye on the Canon AE program, the AE1 program, and I said, you know what? Instead of ordering one, let me go ahead and support a local business. And I headed down there, and he had exactly what I needed. So I went and picked this bad boy up. Like I said, the Canon AE1 program. And let me tell you something, like picking this up and having this in hand is like, I don't know, you just, it feels magical. Like I can't even explain it, man. It's so robust, it's so tough feeling. Um, it's like this thing is made out of metal. I'm not sure what it is made out of, but you know, I just think it's, it's just it's just a good feel to have this camera. And even hearing it when you're, uh, you know, let me see, let me, let me pop this thing open. I got no film in there, but when you, you know if y'all can hear that. Hear that? Oh yeah. Let's see if you do that one more time. Y'all hear that mirror going up, man? Yeah, I love that, man. Just something about it. Taking a picture with this just feels so good and it feels so right, man. And um, and like I said, there's there's so much to get into when it comes down to photography, the different film stocks and everything as I've been learning. And uh, what I got through this camera was uh, some Kodak Ultra Max 400. Um, and I took this out on the street, Richmond, Virginia. Did a little walking around, some street photography, trying to get back to the roots of where I started when I started this photography journey. And um, it just felt good. Couple things. It really makes you think about the shot. You know, you know, is this shot worth it? Is this the shot that I want to get? How is it going to come out? Because as you can see, you don't get no digital back when it comes to film. All right, you don't even know what you if you got the shot until you. Get it processed, which I haven't done yet. I got two rolls of film that I gotta get processed. Um, one of them is a Kodak Ultra Max 400. The other one is Fuji Film Superior, I believe, 400. And yeah, I gotta get those processed as well. But yeah, I did some street photography with this. This just felt real good to have in my camera bag, walking around, um, snapping some pictures and everything. And I can't wait to show you guys the final result. All right, but because I'm ambitious and I, you know, continue to like want to dive into this thing, I was. I didn't know Canon had these. This is another 35 millimeter camera that I picked up, which is the, I think you can see that, the Canon Elon 7, Elon 7E, all right? So this is a 35 millimeter camera as well. It takes 35 millimeter rolls, and uh, this has autofocus. That's kind of why I got it too, right? Cause I, this manual focus, this has autofocus, and I wanted to kind of see the two, and this both was very affordable. Um, and I rarely use this lens to a 51 too. So with this camera, I actually was able to uh, take some pictures of my son, right? So we did a little impromptu photo shoot. We put some outfits together. I did some digital photos with them, but also put a roll in and knocked out some some uh, film photos with them with this camera, man. So I can't wait to see how those came out. And I jumped all the way in with this, right? So you know, this I was walking around doing some street shots with this beautiful piece of work. When I got this, I said, you know, I want to, I want to test my luck, get on that studio, right? So I set up the studio, the crib, uh, with the Explorer 600, and I, I kind of did some, uh, did some flash. So I, like I said, I have no idea what these pictures are gonna look like, um, but I just want to update you guys. I'm tapping into that film space a little bit more. Um, I am eyeing the Mamiya, um, the Mamiya 67. I'm looking at the Pentax. I'm just trying to decide which way I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend another, at least another six months to a year with these things, 
just really getting my feel and really just trying to figure out these film stocks and everything, man. But, you know, once I get those things published, not published, see, I'm thinking big, I got some other things in my mind. But once I get those things processed, um, I'm definitely going to make an updated video and show you guys the pictures and uh, you let me know how I did, man. Again, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, welcome back to the channel. If you guys have been rocking me for a while, make sure you hit that subscribe, like button, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are into film photography or digital, which, which one do you prefer? That's what I want to know. Do you prefer film or digital? Um, and I didn't really get into why I jumped into film super deep. I'll make a video about that too because there's a whole thing that I was thinking about with that. Um, just from what I've seen within that film community, man. But I'm proud to not necessarily say I'm part of the film community as I am just getting into it. But I'm proud to start to tiptoe in that area a little bit, man. So again, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.